Hello everyone. Thought I'd make a video to spotlight the Rotor Hazard FPV race timing and event management system we use for our races. It is a multi-node frequency race timing system that uses the 5.8 GHz video signals broadcast by each of our aircraft to trigger the lap times. Each node is tuned to a specific frequency and communicates times to a central server which happens to be a Raspberry Pi. The race is initiated with an audible countdown timer and upon the start beat the aircraft take off and proceed to the start gate. When the aircraft pass the start gate, the initial lap starts timing for each aircraft. This race was set up to be the most laps in two minutes, so at the start of the race, the two minute countdown timer begins, then that's the green bar at the top of the window. When it reaches zero, the person with the most lap wins. If there's a tie, the next person through the start gate is the winner. This was a really fun lap between us two. Um, we are neck and neck the whole first lap. And um, here Eric turns a little wide and misses gate, so he has to go back and get it. That puts me in the lead. David, lap one, 41.3. ET, lap one, 47.7. One minute. As each aircraft passes the start gate, there's an audible tone and a voice calls out the name of the pilot and it's time. David, lap two, 39.5. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. ET, lap two, 40.1. At the end of the race, there's a countdown beeps. If it's a tie, it'll be announced as a tie. If there's a person in the lead, the winner will be announced. This happens to be a tie. 10 seconds. Race time. Race done. Winner is David. Race done. It's a good thing the race ended because as you saw I hit a gate and went down. I didn't go down forever and I got back up and started going, but since I won I did my victory spin and then back down to land. To me the race timer is a huge benefit in racing. I like the way it calls out the times and the names, and so I, I hope you enjoyed watching. See ya.